Hello again, this is Michael Powell from the Geek Tech Blog and Decoders Project giving you an introduction to publishing in Microsoft's Web Matrix. So this is a quick overview of the publishing available in Web Matrix. So here it will say, this is your site view that you saw before um, in the previous video, and here you can see set up the remote publishing location for your website. When you click on it, what you can see here is uh, my information that I've inputted before. Um, now you can import publishing settings. There is also um, a link here the first time you open it when all this is blank that says um, choose uh, hosting, choose web hosting, which will actually take you to a Microsoft website that will um, give you an option of a range of hosting packages, um, both for PHP standard and ASP.NET uh, web pages. So again, it will it will allow you to pick the package that's right for you. There are some there that are quite very business orientated, the high cost, medium cost ones for little projects, and then low cost ones for just very simple websites. And again, you can validate the connection for things like that. So we can just check that, that connection's okay. Again, we saw that connection was successful. So we're gonna cancel because it's been saved. Um, and then what you can do here is you can click publish. And it says here that the web matrix wants to upload a few files to the publishing destination. I'm um, just to test the compatibility and it, these files will be t um, deleted after test but I don't want to do that because I've already got my website up on the website so I'll sort of skip that. And then again you can see here the publishing preview and you can and what it's doing here at the moment is just looking through my website looking through the hosting website and just checking what's different and you can see here that all the files are different because none of them are versioned on either side and then you can see here publishing will overwrite any remote databases so again I won't touch that but that again just gives you a preview because all you would need to do is just to click continue and it would upload those um, upload those pages directly to the website so I hope that's given you some information in regards of publishing again it's all it's going to be the settings are going to be quite different depending on how your web hosting is set up but you'll have all that information um, from the company that you select your web hosting from so I hope this has been informative for you and I hope you come back again. Thank you for watching.